In this movie, you will see many active young people. In this movie, you will see how to protect the environment. In this movie, you will discover a unique organisation, Youth and Environment Europe. The organisation that unites nearly 50 youth environmental organisations all over Europe. Look at the YEE logo. It will show you the purpose of this organisation. Like a dandelion, many different organisations are united, like the separate parts of a dandelion. And Youth Environment Europe holds them together, like a stem of a dandelion. I would like to tell you what YEE is for me. Basically, I had a look at the logo, and I think when YEE was founded in 1983, it was like a seed uh, flying out in the world to see whether there would be any place for it. And settled down, was uh, growing a plant with some leaves, which is for me basically the leaves and this part of the plant are, is the board and the secretary. They prepare the annual meeting where all the member organizations can meet and exchange ideas, can create projects and basically get lots of motivation to be able to fly off and distribute these ideas. Um, we need the wind, uh, which would basically be the member organization supporting their, the, the people that they delegated to the annual meeting, for sure. We also need the sun, which would basically be the funders. Have a look at the map of Europe. From Portugal to Armenia, from Finland to Malta, YEE is there, all around Europe. It unites all these organisations to protect the environment, make people aware of environmental problems and teach people how to appreciate nature. Taking care of the environment is taking care of our future. Young people are the future. And in YEE, young people have the voice. Thanks to YAE, they can work together for a better future. Youth Environment Europe was founded in 1983. It was still the time when many borders were closed. YAE was opening the borders for young people's cooperation. Many organisations realised that to achieve long-lasting peace, young people should be able to travel to each other's countries, making friends everywhere. Another way was the study, understanding, preservation and respect for nature. With time, the number of European members of YAE kept increasing as NGOs became more and more popular with the rise of civil society. The headquarters of YEE moved from Denmark to Holland and finally found its place in an ecological farm in Prague, Czech Republic. Why did the main office come to this green oasis in Prague? To be more central and more accessible to the growing number of NGOs from Eastern Europe. Youth Environment Europe is an international network. It is created by member organisations for member organisations. Each member organisation has the power to shape the network, to have the voice, to propose projects, to draft the future of YEE. Each organisation is different, but they all have two things in common. They are created by young people and they want to protect the environment. All have different projects and activities, but the purpose is always the same. I'm a member of uh, MELP, it's a Ukrainian organization which stands uh, by uh, Youth and Environmental uh, League of Prydniprovia. Prydniprovia is a Ukrainian region. For me, YE is, first of all, it's opportunity. It's an opportunity to act, to fight for better environmental conditions. Hey, I'm Sylvia, I come from Gaia, from Portugal. Oh, Gaia is doing a lot of different stuff. Um, doing some stuff uh, with uh, dams, or let's say better against dams, still um, disinvolving the social centers and um, also continuing with the sustainable agriculture. My organization is called CONOPA, we are a Czech uh, environmental NGO and we, we deal with uh, hemp as a utility plant. For me YE is a chance to, to unite youth people that are 
interested in environment that want that want to live here in peace and harmony together and with nature. All these organizations and many more are the member organizations of Youth and Environment Europe. They meet every year at the annual meeting, the most important meeting of the Federation, where main decisions are made. Environmental organisations in Europe need to communicate with each other. It makes them feel more integrated and feel like they are not alone in their work, taking care of the environment. Communication can give you more inspiration and motivates you to take further action. That's why every year we organise an annual meeting to see each other personally, not only virtually. We get to know each other, share our experiences, gain new inspiration for projects and partners for cooperation. And of course, we discuss the future of YEE. Because as you already know, Youth Environment Europe is created by member organisations and everyone has the right to share their point of view. To coordinate such a big network, we need people that will control such a large living organism. An organism full of actions, projects and sometimes problems. We need people full of energy, ideas and vision for the future of YEE. That is why every year our member organisations choose the board, the executive body of YEE. For me it's a platform uh, for youth to learn new things. It's uh, not only about environment and nature, but mainly of course about this, but you learn uh, about cultural diversity, what is very important. Why is one very interesting ecological network that I recommend to many youth from throughout Europe. What we in YE are trying to do is to increase the knowledge, the understanding and the appreciation of nature. The YEE office. The team works here to coordinate all the projects and take care of the administrative tasks. This team, like the whole organisation, consists of young people from different countries. My name is Katka and I'm working in the, in the YE office in Prague as a project coordinator. Uh, it's a great uh, opportunity to do something useful. My name is Gosia. I work in YE office as project and publications coordinator. I help member organizations to develop their ideas for international projects. I also coordinate the team that creates YE publications. For example, YE newsletter and magazine. Hey, my name is Adriana and I'm the new Secretary General of YEE. I'm part of this big network of young people only for one month, but it's been a great experience so far, though challenging one. And I work with the office people in Totobur. Hi, I am uh, Francesco. I'm from Italy. And uh, I am an EDS volunteer here in Prague for YEE. I chose YEE because uh, I'm interested in environment, and YEE means uh, Youth and Environment Europe. So I'm quite interested in environment and European integration, so I chose this organization because uh, it fits my interests very well. My name is Torina, I'm from Poland and I'm EVS volunteer. I'm here because I'm a big nature lover and environmentalist and I think that uh, this organization is just great for me. YEE as a network aims to build international cooperation and partnership. This cooperation is implemented through various types of international projects, training courses, seminars and youth exchanges. They are made by young people for young people in order to exchange experiences, talk about nature protection, practice their skills, learn from each other and to experience a multicultural environment. We are now in Hostetin on a conflict management and conflict resolution training course. Uh, we are organizing this training course in order to give some skills to young people who are working in youth NGOs uh, to help to make the atmosphere in their organization better, to cooperate better. To make a real change, to make an impact on environmental problems and to show the solutions, we organise various campaigns which involve many countries. Sunny Campaign is one of them. It is a campaign about renewable resources. The Sunny Campaign website allows you to share the best examples of using renewable resources and to find out how to live more sustainably in your country and in your community. 
Our publications are another tool for us to promote ecological thinking. If you want to learn more about environmental problems or you are looking for information about youth projects, check out our magazine and newsletter. Do you want to share your ideas or experiences? We welcome you to contribute to one of our publications. All information about YEE activities mentioned before, international projects, campaigns, publications, can be found on our website. You can read about YEE, check calls for project partners, get inspiration from our previous projects, download publications, and see pictures from all our actions. So take time and discover more on our website. Maybe you are now thinking, yes, YEE is what I've been looking for. Well, how can I get involved? The answer is, check our members map on our website and join one of our member organisations. Or contact us if your organisation wants to be a part of our network. Very simple, isn't it? So join us in our green movement. You can express yourself within YE. You can develop your personality, get to know others, yourself, nature and hopefully we can as well fight a little bit for our planet. Stop, fear, start, action! Join YEE. To get in touch with other youth environmental organisations working towards a shared goal. To obtain more fundraising possibilities for your organisation. To have the opportunity to exchange information. To get involved with international projects. To get informed about environmental issues and events. To foster international youth cooperation in the environmental field. We do our best to promote an eco-friendly environment. Are you ready for new YEE actions? Climate change, genetic modification and pollution are our enemies. Stop fear, start action. Join us in our mission to help save the earth. We, young people, can do it with Youth and Environment Europe. Prestani da se bojiš, krene u akciju. Zatrimaj me strah, djelaj me. Prekini strah, aktiviraj se. Youth and Environment Europe